Hey there, so today we're going to do a great shred that is gonna work on glutes, upper back, back of the thighs, and also hit the core really well. So this is a really sweaty challenge today. Take any breaks that you need and always have some water handy. And if you need any modifications, blocks, feel free to grab those at this time and then get yourself ready and set up. We're gonna to start today in a comfortable seat. So just begin to rock the body side to side, maybe picking up one cheek at a time, just getting settled and grounded down into the sitting bones. Let's really feel the breath today. I wanna to have a really strong exhale so you really feel the core engaging. You're gonna need it for this practice. Bring the hands on top of the thighs or the knees. Take a nice big giant wide breath in. Exhale out through your mouth, a ha sound. Squeeze and wrap everything in. Drop the breath in again, inhale. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale strong. Inhale. Exhale strong. Deep breath in. And exhale strong. Hands on top of the knees, let's dive forward, spinal waving, inhale, diving forward. Exhale, sit back, squeeze, like you're hollowing out. Inhale forward. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, rocking the pelvis forward. Exhale, rocking it back. Take the arms forward now. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze. Maybe we come into a little balance. So knees coming towards the chest, feet pressing together, squeezing the elbows down by your side. So inhale forward. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more round, deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze, good. Slowly bring yourself down, bring the arms forward, a deep breath in. Twist over to your right, exhale. Come back forward, inhale, exhale. Let's take it again, inhale. We're gonna ring out the sides, just warming up the rotation, deep breath in. Exhale strong, inhale. As you exhale, you'll feel that right side really squeeze and engage. Come forward, unravel. Exhale, left side. One more each side. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Nice, so bring yourself onto hands and knees. Nice wide fingers. Stacking up the joints, shoulders, elbows, and wrists in a line, hips in alignment. Let's take some Beyonce Asana to warm up the torso. Bend the elbows, sweep your rib cage around to the right, inhaling as you're dropping down, rolling the rib cage back and around as you exhale. So think of opening the chest here, exhaling up and around through the back of the chest. So inhale, front, exhale around the back. Inhale around the front, exhale around the back. Two more, breathe in, exhale out and around. Breathe in, exhale out. Good, reverse this now, taking it to the left. Inhaling as you drop, exhaling as you sweep up and around. Deep breath in, exhale. No right or wrong here, we just wanna mobilize and get gooey in our torso. That way you don't get any cramping, any stuck or stagnant uh, tissues or crankiness, general crankiness, inhale. Exhale around, good. Come back to center now. Sliding through cat and cow, let's really warm up because we're gonna do extension in the spine, inhaling. Exhaling up and back, push your shoulder blades apart, look at your thighs, inhale forward. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale forward. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, sweep it back. Beautiful, inhale. And exhale. So come to tabletop position. We're gonna start our first shred for the day. Widen the fingers out. 
So from here, you can simply take the modification, which is right leg extends, left leg stays on the ground. You're gonna exhale and bring your right knee to your right elbow. Kick it straight back, level off the hips, exhale right knee to right elbow. That's the modification. If you want more, come up into a full plank, take a deep breath in, and you'll touch your elbow and knee together. Step it straight back. We're gonna start on the right side, four rounds on the right, four rounds on the left. Pause anytime, hit the pause button, grab some water, all good. So let's get it started. Let's get it started. Here we go, inhale, exhale up. Tap the foot down, tap the elbow. Try to keep the hips still, try not to let that shoulder creep up like shaking out the hip, level it out. Really work hard, press the base of the palms towards your feet, that'll help you stabilize. Good, bring the knees down. Maybe sit back to child's pose, roll out your wrists. Give yourself a little space. Ground the fingers down, plank pose. Here we go, exhale, right knee to right elbow. Try to keep the belly lifted, stabilize the shoulders. Only the thigh is moving and a little bit of the hip, so we're hugging that right side using the oblique. Really squeezing that right side. Good, bring it down. In only 20 seconds, you're gonna warm up really quickly here. Spread the fingers, knees on the ground or up. Here we go. Keep the breath moving through the nose, out through the mouth. Drive that navel into the spine. Don't get lazy with the belly. All good, make it work. Make your 20 seconds count. It's only 20 seconds. Nice. Shake it out. Take a breath in, exhale, here we go. It's the last one. For this side anyway. Squeeze that supporting thigh. Press your hands down hard. Really feel that side working. You've got this. Come on. Whoo! All right, bring it down. We're going to the left side now. Roll out your wrists, shake out your neck, whatever you gotta do. Loosen it up, and here we go. Left side, knee to elbow. It helps if you flex the foot. That way you can land it back into your plank. Really squeeze that side. You're gonna feel it burning. Know that you can drop your right knee at any time. Don't worry about it. Go where you can achieve these postures and these movements. Keep yourself safe. Nice. Spread the fingers. Here we go. Exhale. Feel those obliques, I know you have to, cause I do. Woo! All right, come on, come on. All right, drop it down, relax. Two more, we got this. Just getting started. Squeeze the wrists, here we go, set it up. Let's go. If you don't like that ha sound, it's really effective. You can do a strong blowout through the mouth. Or a shh, shh. Beautiful, bring it down. Relax it. Whew. Keep breathing, set the hands up. Last one. Here we go. Tight thighs. Pressing the fingers down into the mat. Don't put so much weight into the wrist. Really activate your hands. That helps take the weight out of the wrists. Keep breathing. And bring it down. That was it, beautiful. Shake it out. Awesome. Nice. Come all the way up. On your knees, slowly lower your thighs, elbows, and come down to your cheek. Beautiful, hands come down onto the mat. Bend your knees and just sway the feet side to side. 
So we're gonna work on the back body, toning between the shoulder blades, the back of the lats, your lower and mid traps. So it helps with posture. It helps strengthen the back of the neck. If you find that you're starting to dissolve forward because of textasana on your phone. So let's set this up. Most important part is your pelvic triangle. Activate your glutes down into the mat. So you've got to push the front of the pubic bone. Again, adjust your man bits if you need. Push it down into the mat. Squeeze the feet together so you want to activate glutes so you're getting extension in the hips. From here, we're going to lift up. I want you to try to reach your fingers towards your toes. And then slowly relax down, touch your chin. Fingers towards toes, touch your chin. Fingers towards toes. If you want to lay everything down, bring it up. Just remember to press the pelvic triangle down. We're going to take eight rounds of this. You're going to feel this. Stop if anything doesn't feel good. Here we go. Take a deep breath in. And here it is, 20 seconds. Up, reach towards your toes. Think uh, Jennifer Gray, Dirty Dancing. <sighs> Pinch those shoulder blades back. Good, relax, bend your knees, sway the knees side to side. Rest for 10 seconds, hands can come up if you'd like, or you can rest your chin on the mat. Good, bring the feet together, lift up. Pinch those shoulder blades like you're gonna try to touch your pinkies and the back of your heels. Watch your low back. If you're getting a pinching in your low back, don't go as high. Good, you've got this. We need more extension these days. You've got it. Relax it. Bend the knees, sway side to side. Maybe take the head, shake it out. Setting back up again. Pelvic triangle first. Reach towards your toes, here we go. Bring it up and down. Nice long back of the neck. Try not to crank it forward. Never good on the back of the neck. You got it. Works everything on the back body, even your triceps. It's a three for one special. All right, bring it down. Toes together. Here we go, lift it up. You're gonna really feel this. Good, relax it, bend the knees. Shake it out. One more round. Here we go, toes together, lift. You got it, keep it moving. Beautiful, let's come into tabletop position. Mini chaturangas now. Just to stretch this out, work the front body here up on the knees. Exhale, bend. See if you can keep your belly engaged. Wide fingers, shoulders back. So we don't want to shove the shoulder space forward. Good, relax it all the way down, bend your knees. Shake it out side to side. Come to tabletop, reset, shoulders over out, wrists and elbows. Mini chaturangas. Keep it moving. Elbows facing backwards, no chicken wing arms. Good, you can bring it all the way down. Shake it out, or a child's pose, whatever feels good. No worries. Bring it up, here we go. Press it out, press it out, press it out. You've got this, almost done. Whoo, 
Working it out. Front and back body. This is the killer. Nice, relax it, bend your knees. Shake it out. Awesome, take a deep breath in, lift up to tabletop. Sit back to child's pose. Very nice. Shake the body out side to side. Loosen it up. Walk the hands over to the right. Sit the hips back, stretch out your side body, taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Walk it to the opposite side, to the left, breathe in. Exhale, sit the hips back. Two breaths here, inhale, exhale. Deep breath in and exhale it out. Good, come to tabletop position, deep breath in. Press into the ground, lift up to down dog, exhale, slide the hips back, walking the feet out. Really letting it go. Shake out the head, shake out the low back. Feel a nice stretch to your low back. Nice, widen the feet a little bit more, taking a deep breath in. Start to walk the hands back towards your feet, letting your hips go way back behind the knees, behind the, the hips and the ankles. Shake the body out side to side. Really dissolve, hands can be on the thighs if you need. If letting the crown go towards the floor makes you dizzy, take it halfway, just look at the floor, shake out side to side, but keep your arms and the weight in the hands so your low back's not taking too much of the brunt of it. Come towards the front of your space, maybe a little bit of a sumo asana. Bend your knees a lot, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift through the front of your belly. As you rise, inhale your arms, stretch. Exhale, seal the hands off. All right, so we're gonna take some fists of fire, chair pulses. So all the way up, sit back. So that is your workout. Take a deep breath in, that's your movement. Here we go, take it, set it up, inhale, exhale back. So let's really hit this. Keep your knees back behind your toes. Squeeze your elbows backwards so you're pinching the shoulder blades back. Really feeling your lats engage. Nice rowing motion. Sit way back. Shake it out, step it around, walk it out. Set the feet back slightly outside of hip distance, arms high, inhale, exhale back. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Push those hips up. Nice. Walk it off. We have eight rounds of this. Cardio blast, so we wanna increase the metabolism here with this movement. Here we go again, inhale, exhale back. Initiate the movement in your legs. Push through the floor. Really feel the earth underneath you. Don't shove your knees forward. Your butt has to go way back. Good, walk it off. Walk it off. Awesome work. Here we go. Set it up, inhale. Exhale back. You've got this, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Woo! Nice. Shake it off. March those feet. March the legs. Good, inhale. Exhale. You've got it. Keep it moving, your pace. You can slow it down if you need. No worries, you're gonna feel this in the thighs. Nice, walk it off. 
slow your breathing down. You've got it. Here we go. Only a few more. You're doing awesome. Keep it moving. Take a break when you need. Know that you can always build up to a full eight rounds if you want. It's only four minutes of your life. Four minutes. That ain't nothing. Beautiful. Whew. Feels like an eternity though. I know. Whew. Come on, let's do this. Come on, keep that breath moving. Keep the hips gliding backwards. Stick it back. Get that cardio going. Raise that heart rate. Calorie burn. Who knew yoga could be so good? Shake it out, almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> Inhale up, exhale back. Squeeze your belly as you go back. That's gonna help protect the front of your spine. So you're not gonna overextend. Beautiful. Whew. That's it. Nice. Keep shaking it out. I'm sure you're probably heaving and hoeing like I am. All good. Last but not least. Yeah, we're not done. It's okay. <laughs> Again, we're gonna take a wide stance. We're gonna hit the back of the hips again. Hit the core. So we're gonna take a goddess squat. Start here. Just like you're hanging out. Wide legs, catch your breath. Big breath in, exhale out. One more, inhale in. Exhale it out. One more, inhale. Exhale it out. Good. From here, I want you to just take your hands to heart space. Thighs are glided back. My kneecaps, my feet are facing wherever my kneecaps are going. You're gonna feel the thighs and the glutes. From here, hands to heart. I want you to twist, reach for the knee. So you're gonna do knee, knee touches, twisting. Hands go back to the thighs. So doing twist, 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 twist. So we're stabilizing here for 20 seconds. Cool, here we go. Set it up, start with your hands on your thighs. Here we go, one more round. Breathe in, here we go, twist it out. Keep the chest upright, try not to hunch and reach for it. Chest is up. You can look with your eyes. You know where your knees are, I hope. <laughs> Keep it twisting. Nice, shake it out. Whew. Nice work, it's a tough one today. Stay with it, you've got this. Hips back, hands, twist it out. Try to touch those kneecaps. If you can't, go to your thighs. Hopefully you can reach your knees. <laughs> That's all right, Whew. shake it out. I call this the uh, Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation Asana, I don't know. Nice, sit it back, here we go. Whew. Twist it out, ring out the gnarl in your system. Nourish your spine with that movement. Keep the breath moving. Shake it out. A lot of work here. We're building a lot of functional stability in the hips right now. Nice work. You're gonna thank yourself later and hate me later probably. Namaste, no judgment. Come on. Get the rotation from the rib cage, not so much the shoulders. All right, let's finish strong. We're just gonna do temple poses, temple pulses. Here we go. Bring it down. Here we go, pop it up, up and down. 
You can straighten the legs out all the way if you want. If you want to just bounce at the bottom, back it up like you're at a club on a Tuesday. Exhale. Remember the hips glide way back and wide. Stabilize, push into your heels and the center of your foot. Come up, relax it. Make sure you create a bind. Push together, suck the shoulders back. So you're gonna work in between the pectorals. Good. Straight up and down. Push. Namaste, warrior. Here we go. Exhale it out, come on. We got this. You're almost there. We have two more rounds and we're done. Nice, keep it moving, shake it out. Whew. Whatever you need, shake it, twist it. Whatever's good, whatever's gravy. Let's finish this strong, here we go. Push those hands together, squeeze. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Nice. Come on, come on, we got this. We got it. And step it back together. Nice work. Awesome, turn to the side, take a deep breath in, and exhale, bring it down to the ground. Shake the hips out side to side. Let yourself cool down. Shaking the hips out. Taking a nice big giant breath in, widen the knees out. Exhale, sit the hips back, a deep child's pose, walking the hands out. Just relax your crown down. Take five breaths at your pace. Take one more breath, your pace, inhale. Rise on your exhale. Good, bring the knees back underneath the hips, shaking the hips out. Let's begin to sit down, coming back to a comfortable seat. Beautiful, coming to face your screen. Whew, sweaty good times. Hands on top of the thighs, let's dive it forward, inhale. Oh yeah, exhale. Inhale up, exhale back, inhale, exhale. On this next one, take your arms up and forward, breathe in. And let's twist over to the right. Right hand behind the back, left hand on the knee, sit up tall, breathe in. Exhale, relax into the twist, stay here for two more breaths. Sitting up tall as you breathe in. Exhaling out as you twist open. Don't force it, just relax into it. One more, inhale, nice length and lift in the spine. Exhaling gently into the twist. Let's unwind, take the arms forward, breathe in and up, and take it to the left. Right hand on top of the front knee, left hand behind the back. Lengthen the spine, we breathe in to go up. Exhale, we dissolve gently into the twist. Breathe in and up. Exhale, twist into the dissolve. Good, inhale up and dissolve. Let's come all the way forward, deep, deep breath in. And exhale, let's bow all the way forward. Fingertips coming on the ground, relaxing the head. Just begin to sway your body side to side, almost as if you're painting the floor. Beautiful. Really relax, dissolve, 